Hey, Rob here with Tasty Jam. Uh, we're going to do a little uh, string cleaning video here. Uh, before I start, there's, uh, you know, there's lots of videos about how to clean your strings, how to clean your guitars. There's a ton of stuff out there. Um, there's also lots of products. Uh, you can buy a Guitar Center and, and different places. Um, there's even a, a string cleaning unit that slides under and the piece snaps on top and it slides down and cleans your strings. I've had that before. Um, it's uh, great when you have it on you and you got the solution in stock and all that but what we're gonna do is just uh, what I normally do which is just a cloth and some rubbing alcohol uh, nothing fancy in fact a lot of the string cleaning uh, products you buy are going to be based with alcohol so that's kind of my reasoning as to why I really don't spend the extra money on that this stuff is cheap easy and it's always around the house so what we're going to do, uh, the main thing we want to be careful is, is we do not want to get alcohol on the, on the neck wood. So what I generally do, I've got a t-shirt here and I use this for one side of this t-shirt has got the, you know, the factory fold on it. I try to stay away from that and I'll use the, I'll use a thin part here. And basically all I'm going to do is just get it wet so it's, the width of you know this the strings here so we're just gonna put some on here as such soak that down so we've got it soaked a good width of the strings now I'm gonna fold it so I've got a dry on the back wet on the front so I'm not getting it on my neck we're just gonna slide it under here little upward pressure and kind of go back and forth as you go up like this right in the case right up there as far as you can back all the way back Just like that. As you can see, we've already got some junk on there, which is what you want to see. And then I'll go on the top, do the same thing. Not pressing too hard so we don't get into the wood. Once again, back and forth, up and down. And there you go, we got some more junk on there. So, that's it. <laughs> Nothing fancy. Now these strings are way, way past due. I'm gonna end up changing them anyway. We'll make another video on, uh, on changing the strings and also cleaning the, um, the neck here. Uh, if you look real close, you can see there's just nastiness inside that neck. Uh, so we'll clean that on another video. We'll do that when we take the strings off. You don't need to worry about it for now. But uh, this is my practice guitar. Uh, I've got another guitar I use for shows, and that one always stays in the case. So I, I, I don't have a lot of cleaning issues with that one. Of course, on any of your guitars, uh, when you play, you should just plan on you know giving it a nice wipe down before and after you play. Uh, that'll keep the junk off there for a lot longer. Um, I honestly have to say I don't do that very much on this because I keep it sitting in a guitar stand. It's out, gets dusty. Uh, I pick it up when I want it and I put it down and that's why this one's so nasty here. And On your gig guitar, keep the other one in the case. Keep your good one in the case. Don't even, don't even take it out to play it. You can practice on something like this and uh, then you don't have to clean that one as well. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment, anything like that. Otherwise, have a good day.